The World Today. For Paul Pisanos, the bread and wine of his idea, its deepest sense of the establishment of a universal city, lies in the way sages, scientists, technocrats and researchers could cooperate in the same city through collective efforts that relate to peace and prosperity of peoples and the salvation of the ecosystem so that the economic cost on the level of research, experimentation and application would be as small as possible while the results would be as great as possible. The official measurements show that the Earth's population continues to grow. Unemployment and poverty of nations has exceeded all limits of tolerance and cash deficits in a global economy that is constantly in the red have become a scourge. Humanity is facing a painful, dangerous tendency of transfer of active forces of science and technology, the basic cause of which is global wealth flowing from the productive forces to the brokers and the banks. If the politicians of the world, the heads of state, as well as the major academic forces of culture and science, do not take the appropriate decisions for a collective global integration of science, technology and wisdom in order to establish justice, a healthy economy and the equitable distribution of scientific knowledge and the flow of money in the hands of productive forces, the poor who have not eaten and the planet that is suffocating will show their claws. Let us bow with respect before this global problem which affects us all. Let us boldly accept with conscious commitment and determination, each separately, our responsibilities towards humanity, the planet and God. And let us look with profound insight upon the work of the Heptapolis as our common property, our common neighborhood, where our common struggle for knowledge, for peace, for social and scientific progress and application of justice will make us all happier.